Wherever I go, wherever I see, I remember you. If you remember me. Hey guys, welcome to Seven Minute Study. In this video, I'm going to talk about process framework. So before going with the discussion of process framework, uh, I'd say about what process is. So process is nothing but the foundation for a software engineering as a task. So it is not it is a glue that holds technology layers together. It is defined as a framework to develop the projects like how technical methods are applied, how work products are produced, how milestones are established and reached, how quality is ensured and how the changes that are being properly managed or not. So if the changes are not being properly managed it has to be taken certain actions and other repercussion acts so for that we use process hence we can conclude that process is nothing but the the entire working or the transformation from requirements gathering analysis to the point of delivery or deployment so the entire uh, work process that is being uh, the work uh, cycle that is being performed in between them is known as a process. So uh, we, we have a process framework. Process framework establishes the foundation for a complete software process by identifying number of framework activities. These projects like this process uh, foundation can be applicable to all software projects regardless of their size and complexity. So this is very important to have uh, in in mind before going with this entire software development product or process. And the process framework encompass, encompasses a set of umbrella activities. So uh, what an umbrella activity is? An umbrella activity is nothing but a collection of framework activities or a certain uh, set of tasks which have to be performed uh, based on an engineering action. Let's say in a framework activity, to uh, uh, to just code the per, uh, uh, to just write codes for a header section and then that's a framework activity hashtag one and then we have certain actions which are suitable for that for that we have certain uh, task sets such as uh, work tasks work products which are which are going to be generated which are nothing but the header files um, in in the file format okay and then we have uh, um, quality which has to be ensured uh, this can be done using documentation uh, and then the project milestone we have to set pro per particular project milestones after uh, like we are going to use those project products or work products in a particular manner so these pro uh, milestones ensure that we are going to reach our goal at a certain time and required quality and with required quality so i give like you can just take a screenshot of the process framework yeah this is how it looks hmm. so then we have umbrella activities right and then actually we have generic process framework which is followed by all the process processes in software development which are nothing but communication which is nothing but representation of requirement gathering and communication with the customer and then we have planning planning is the plan for the project such as technical tasks risks associated with those tasks resource risks required and work products produced work schedule etc and then we have modeling we have two phases but actually modeling is nothing but the creation of models to better understand the product uh, uh, about the project like how the uh, tasks should be taken and how, what the outcome of the task should be then we have two phases right the two phases are analysis and design respectively so the analysis is nothing but a set of work tasks and design is nothing but data uh, it encompasses many many kinds of planning such as uh, data design architectural design interface design etc and then we have construction which is the main thing of a software product where we do the uh, major parts of uh, coding and testing and then we have deployment where finally we deliver the product to the customer and we take in the feedback of the customer based on the evolution of uh, for the evolution of the product all right and then we have um, let's understand deeper about umbrella activities so umbrella activities on, uh, are the activities that take part in each uh, like process framework under each process we have a certain umbrella tasks such as project tracking and control where we assess the progress of the product 
and then we take actions if project is behind schedule and risk management to assess the risk that affects the quality of a product so these are nothing but uh, in the generic process framework for each process uh, for each process uh, phase we are going to have umbrella activities associated to them all right and then we have software quality assurance which is nothing but activities required to maintain the quality and we have formal technical reviews which are ne necessary in order to maintain uh, a pure communication between the workers or employees working in that company who are working towards the product and then we have measurement where we have where we collect the processes projects process measures to assist them to assist the team in delivering software that meets customer needs and then we have software configuration management where we ma where we manage changes throughout the software process and we have reusability management where we establish mechanisms to us you achieve reusable components as we can't use an a single application only once and then we have work product uh, proposition uh, preparation and production which is nothing but the activities required to create work products like models documents logs etc which are necessary for uh, making it usable or custom uh, customer friendly uh, after the entire development has been done so every process model must recognize that adaptation is essential for success but they differ in overall flow of activities the degree when uh, work tasks are defined and the uh, the way in which they are planned so uh, sometimes it might be difficult to organize the team and roles prescribed so it's very important to have a defined level of autonomy given to the project team so in order to get the pro uh, get the products on time in time we have to go through this process framework rigorously and we have to uh, stick with the entire framework structure so uh, sometimes but there are some situations even though the, uh, these products or models are used in projects they might fail sometimes so agile models are proposed there are appropriate uh, they are appropriate for many types of projects especially web applications so these these web applications if they fail with basic software development framework we go with agile models so the basic or the both uh, the generic goal in both agile models and software models development is that to create high quality software that meet customer needs but different approaches are used of course right the both of them are different uh, after the software engineering uh, module i am going to con continue with the agile models so thanks for watching the video please stay tuned and uh, to get regular updates subscribe